Wow, my first season with Team Bath in the Super League was a long time ago, thinking back to it now. Um, well, I, I first joined Team Bath when we were in the Super Cup. And um, my first season was not a successful one, actually. Um, I've been brought into the squad um, with some incredible players. Pamela Cookie at the time, Jess Thelby. Um, who else are we have in there? Camilla Buchanan, Claire Elsie, Billy Bowers. It was huge. We had every man and his dog at that team at that time. And I got brought in. And I was supposed to just be a bench player at that time. Um, Pamela Cookie, unfortunately, got injured. And I got bumped into the first team. And um, I shot 26% in my first game <laughs> against Amanda Newton. It was awful. Like, I mean, absolutely awful. I thought I'd never play netball again. Um, but it was a massive learning curve. And for anybody that knows me, I sort of was like, well, no, I'm, I'm going to get better. That first season was awful. The next season we came back and won the whole competition. I was a starting player and I got picked for England. So, I mean, in one season, everything changed. But I still remember that first game. The wing attack and centre were on the edge of the circle shouting at me to score the goals. And I'm going, I'm trying. I'm really trying. Um, so it was a massive learning curve for me. But I think that's how my career has always been. I, you know, the first time I stepped up to an international player, I wasn't good enough. I went away, I worked on it and got better. And, and that's how I remember Super League. But I couldn't have been with a better team and a better group of people and better coaches at that time. It was a, it was a really, really good time in my life. So my first England cap was in 2004. I still remember getting picked. Um, we won Super Cup that day, we're in Blackpool. Um, they read out the team announcements and I got picked into the squad, so I was absolutely buzzing. Um, our first test was against South Africa. Um, it was a three test series, three game test series. First game I didn't play at all. Um, second game was in Birmingham. And I remember sitting on the bench thinking, I really want to get on the court. Um, we were drawing at half time and I got the call up to go on. I was playing with the likes of Olivia Murphy, Tracy Neville had just come off, she was goal attack at that time. And I went on a goal attack and I've never been so nervous in all my life. And that's not me, I'm usually you know, kind of cocky and quite calm on court, so nervous. I remember there being a timeout after the first five minutes and I just turned to Olivia and just went, please tell me I'm gonna be able to breathe in a minute. And she was like, it's absolutely fine, just play through it. And um, we, went, we went on to win the game by sort of 15, 20 points and it was pretty special playing in front of my home crowd, I suppose, in the, in the Midlands. Um, so yeah, amazing. So I went to one Commonwealth Games and that was in Delhi. Um, and I've been to two, three World Championships and won two bronzes there and one bronze at the, at the Delhi Games. Um, I suppose the, the special ones for me were 2010, 2011. That was probably when I was an established player in the England side. I was playing with some of my best friends at the time, um, and we were good. You know, we were we were going for. We wanted to be in that final. We were the underdogs then, but I mean, it was it was a good period in in our careers. Um, we were unlucky not to get to the top that year, but I remember the Delhi game. Um, I was caught on the BBC sobbing my heart out after we lost to Australia after leading through the whole game and losing in the final quarter. So we came back the next day, as always in competitions, you have to bounce back and, and play the next day. Um, and we were so focused that day against Jamaica and, we, and we, we smashed them, like we really took it to them and won the bronze. I just remember collapsing at the end and it was pretty special to step up on the podium um, with all those different sports as well at the Commonwealth Games. Like it's, it's a pretty crazy time. So I've been at Team Bath for a, a long time, a really long time. I'd spent two years out in Australia and I came back and I needed a new challenge. Things that changed at Bath, Lynn Gunson, who had been there, who um, has been the, the key to my whole netball career, really, the inspiration behind it all. She'd left and things had changed and I needed something new. And I, every year you kind of get emails from different clubs going, oh, do you fancy, blah, blah, blah. And I'd, I'd had this new email from Sorry Storm and I thought, well, you know what, I'll come up and see. Um, and I came up here and literally got talked into signing on the day. Um, I was here with Rachel Dunn as well and I remember just going, you know what, yeah, take the plunge, I'm coming, this is what I want to do, I want a new challenge, I want to do something new. And it was so exciting. Rachel Dunn took a lot more persuasion. I think we had to buy her two twelves and a cup of tea before she'd actually put pen to paper. But I mean, it was a big decision cause, because you don't... I'll have a bond with Team Bath that I'll never ever forget. It was a great time. It, it, it was where I learned, learned how to play and it was... I loved it. it. We talk about family and it was a real family unit there. Um, but you do get to a point where you need need the challenge and it, at that point there were so many of us at Bath that we needed to start spreading out to the other clubs so I mean it was exciting to come to Storm and the what made me sign what made me come here was I met the people behind the project and they had the same vision as I had and they've not stopped believing in that from everything we've done from being the first to play at the copper box to um, the things we've done behind the scenes to how they've treated the players I think 
um, it was exciting. It excited me, and, and once that happened, I knew I had to come here. Winning the Super League last season was probably um, one of the best netball experiences, but also the biggest reliefs. Um, we'd come so close, and I, I remember speaking um, to a couple of people before, um, to Naomi Taylor, up my assistant coach, and sort of saying, can we lose again? What will happen if we lose again? She was like, no, we can't, we cannot do that. Um, it's so hard to keep picking up teams, and when I talk about retiring, um, you know, each year you play and you think, you know the outcome of the end of the season, you know you know how much effort has to go in to win. So when you're young, you're just like, yeah, you play another season, you play another season. You kind of get to the point where you go, can I go through another season and not win? So to step out last season at the Copper Box, there was just, I'm not gonna say there was anything different because I believed we could win in all the other finals we've been in. But I mean, we were ready to win and that's a big difference. Um, and I don't think, I've been in teams where you've doubted, where you've looked around the room and gone, oh, well, maybe if this person or this person. I didn't doubt for a minute. From everything from our team talk to how we prepared to coming into that game, um, I knew we could do it. And the last five minutes, I'm running around with a grin on my face. We didn't jump around and go mad at the end because it was ours. Last year was our victory. We'd worked so hard for that um, and we deserved it. We'd grown as a team and I think that was probably the most special thing for me. Yeah, so coming back from Australia this time, the World Cup, my third World Cup, probably a really different one, different experience from the previous two. The first one I went to, I was really young, really new into the squad, completely different role. Um, the 2011 one was, was probably where I'd spent the most amount of time. I'd spent the four-year build-up with the group. I'd worked my way into that squad and I was really on it. And this one was, was a really strange one, amazing, really big roller coaster emotionally for everything that went on off the court um, but with a really special group of people and Australia you can't beat playing in Australia and, and New Zealand with the fans that they have and, and everything they put into netball so I mean it was special for all those reasons if I'm completely honest I was gutted that my final my final thing for England couldn't have been better than a bronze and that's really hard to say because I, I loved coming home with a bronze medal but there's a lot of us that have been through a long time with each other that I think that team deserved more, but in sport you don't get what you deserve, you know, you get the outcome on the day. So it was an amazing experience, one I'm really glad I did, um, but it was a tough one. Um, but you know, I come home with a bronze medal and I get to retire from the red dress how I started in a, in a good position. So I think from all of that, I'm really glad that I got to do it.